right answer. Like there are, I guess, for characters and narration and stuff, but some of these, like especially the long questions are um, some opinion, opinionated based in a way. It's kind of just how you read it. Um, and really the only person that kind of has like right answer is the author sometimes with some of this stuff. So. Is he dead? I, I don't what think was so. Wrote? I know. <laughs> I don't know. Is she? Probably. Oh, she Probably. Like, like, she like, who's she'd be like nine Yeah, I think she died in like 2016 or Recently? Like 2018. Okay. So. I don't know. I know, you yeah, know. So oh yeah, because then. Because then she wrote a book, she, well, she, but it she was died released. In the other book yeah. was released. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Okay. How do you know? So that actually wasn't that long ago. Yeah. And she wrote a book a year know? before she died. Yeah, the ghost set of Watchmen, right? Do you mm -hmm. know who else is playing? <laughs> what? That's ominous. Who else is playing? <laughs> Ketzel, for sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'll help. I'm not creative, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who's the narrator of the novel? And what, uh, I guess this would be what type of narration is used. So raise your hand so we're not all talking at once for sake of the video. So who wants to answer this question? Huh. What'd you guys write? Uh, Scout. Okay, so Scout's the narrator. Oh, I can't do that at the same time. Oh. Um, and what type of narration? Uh, first person. First person. Yes, first person. Okay, but so how would you answer that question? Well, there's there's two different definitions of it. it's type. It's third person or first person, like as in like the types or time is what actually part of the timeline that was started. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did 1960. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's, I think that was a massive like, type. Just put, just yeah, put first the question's person. supposed to be type. So type of narration yeah. is first person, is from her perspective. Um, and we're gonna talk about this a little bit. Is do we trust like, is she a reliable source, basically? If you think about it, like, how old do you think Scout is? Like, I don't know. I think kind of when she's narrating this? Yeah. Probably like 20, I don't know. No. I mean, no. This, is from, this is from Scout's perspective in yeah. the Bro, in the yeah. novel. Yeah. And I don't know. She hasn't started school yet, I don't believe, right? Nah. But So she's, like, in first grade, I think, or second grade. So How can she write so well? She didn't write the book. She's just the narrator, <laughs> well done, writing from her perspective. All right, Chase, go ahead. There was a part about her mother dying of a heart attack. Okay, yeah, and she doesn't remember it, right? But Jem does. Okay. And she... Oh, that's a weird name for people, she by the way. She, she what? Was she wasn't Scout two when she when her mom died? Uh, I mean, yeah, she was young enough where she didn't remember it, so I don't remember what she said. She was two months when she died. Oh, there you go. All right, who is Scout? Someone give me one person, raise your hand, give me main character. Main character. Okay, main character. Anything else that we can Tom Tomboy? Good. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be important, um, especially when we talk about prejudices, because you'll see kind of how that transforms through the novel. Anything else? I'm good with that. Alright. What does the narrator reveal about her family history in the first several pages? So, talk about the history of um, the Finches. Um, Go ahead. They're Southerners. Southerners, good. Uh, his dad is a lawyer. Okay. Um, Jem broke his arm. Okay. And her mom died when she was two. Her mom died when she was two. Okay. What about, like, the... The history of, like, the Finches in itself, like Simon Finch, I believe was, is that the name? Yeah, that goes way back. That, yeah. That was, the, that was like the dad of uh, the father. Yep, like, and they lived on a... Cot at the time. Okay, good. And Atticus moved away, right? Yeah. And who stayed behind, did it say? Simon Finch. The little brother. The brother? Yeah. Or the sister? The sister. I think it was the sister. Yeah, because yeah, yep. the brother yeah, became a doctor. Okay, so the sister stayed on the... Uh, what is it? The farm? Oh, the cotton farm. The, yeah, yeah, the plantation or whatever. And then the others moved away to become a doctor and a lawyer. Okay. Um, and what's the sister's name? You guys know? No. I believe it starts with a C. Caroline, I think. Oh. Or Alexandra. It's one of those. I think Alexandra. Alexandra? Alexandra? Okay. I knew it was one of those. Yeah. Um, how does Scout describe Maycomb? 
All right. This, so this is so this is yeah. where the it's it's setting. All right. The setting is Maycomb. So how does she describe it? Go ahead, Eliana. It's a older town that was very tired and boring until something happened, but you don't know what the something is. Okay, we don't know what it is yet. Quote, no money to spend, uh, nothing to spend money on and no money to spend on. Okay. To spend with. Good. Good. Um, Not exactly. Clearly. So no money to, to spend on and no money to spend with. Or no money, I get you. Hi, Piper. Okay, um, so what's the time period? If we're thinking like real world America, what's the time period? And Is that like 19... 1930s? 1880s. No, 1930s yeah, during the what? What, what happened during, during the... During the Great Depression. Depression. During, the great, during the Great Depression, good. Um, so who, who's Jem? And I know we don't get a ton of details, but who's Jem? Brother. Brother. Okay. Brother. So, he used to play football and stuff. And then he got an arm injury and he couldn't play for a bit, but he doesn't care now. Because he's got a little brother on me. What's up? Doesn't someone break his arm though? Uh, uh, he, broke arm. he broke his arm. Jem broke his arm. Okay. I don't well, know. Well, I mean, the, the simplest procedure is just to take a little bit of away. Okay. So, anything else about Jem? Um, Jem's Scout's older brother and protector. They're best friends. Jem's four years older than Scout. He can remember some bad memories about their mom. Okay, so he's four years older and remembers memories some memories about mom where Scout doesn't. Okay, that's good. All right, who's this Dill character? He's the kid that uh, moves in for the summer. Okay, so uh, he moved in for the summer. Description. I just repeat for the he's eight. video. Okay, he's eight. Kind of annoying. He's kind of <laughs> 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 Explain. Like he, Talkative. He's... Yeah, he's talking. Curious, he's kind, kind of. of. Yeah, he's very kind of obnoxious. He has eccentric okay. plans. Eccentric yeah. plans. Yeah. Okay, all right. True. I'm in the book. All she's right. an eight year old. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> all right. It says in the book. Eccentric. Drink is like crazy. That's actually going to be a vocab word, so that's oh, really? good. Really? Yeah, um, eccentric. Name, I think parents have an outfit. Well, his name like, what, Charles Baker? Yeah, eight year old. His real name? Uh, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, they just call him Dale. Yeah, at least. All right. All right, what about Atticus? He hates being a lawyer. He's a lawyer? He hates being a lawyer? Yeah, he hates criminal law. Okay. Really? Yeah. Why, right. is, he, why is he a lawyer? Uh, then. Money. Probably. 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 Yeah, because after his first law. case with two people that were being hanged, the uh, Haversons or whatever, uh, they, he just started hating it. Oh, my gosh. Michael, thank you for obtaining the information to help us. Uh, so basically, he's a lawyer. Um, what describe him? I guess I don't know. How does it, Scott describe him in the, this first chapter? He doesn't really, doesn't really describe him. What about um, does she? A uh, kind of willingly negligent. Huh? It, it, there's there's a part that says. Um, something about him not like being super attached like mm -hmm. letting them do their own thing mm -hmm. that's so, good okay that makes sense I I that was exactly kind of like he's so like caught up in the job maybe that it's hard no, for find it. i get you it's really all right i know <laughs> some difference between the back cover and the front cover it's annoying oh. that's, all right that's the olden days number eight who is calpurnia and how does scout describe her Oh. The family personal, the family's personal chef. Yeah, cook, she's not chef. Yeah, the Cook. Yeah, that's what she says. This is right. cook. She's their cook. Nah. Um, what race is she? Black. Black. Okay. Yep. It's their bridge between the, it's the children's bridge between the white world and the rural black community. Okay, so she's the bridge between their white world and the black community. I like that. Anything else about her? Uh, she. He didn't like Scout. anybody until the kitchen, especially Scout. Yeah, so Scout doesn't Courteous like detachment. Scout. Wait, what'd you say, Owen? Oh, she doesn't. doesn't like uh, yeah, she doesn't like people until the kitchen. Okay. And she has like yeah, a can, which is the size of a bed plank. It's a like bed uh, slab. Uh, bed flat. Yeah. yeah bed and twice flat. as hard. Okay. Yeah, and twice as hard. Okay. Um. Yeah, I found the word. It's courteous detachment. Okay. Courteous detachment for Atticus. That's fair. Okay. What's the simile? What's the, is that the simile you had on? Okay, yeah, can you I'm say that again? Uh, her hand was. Okay, go ahead. Is, big hand. Her hand was. 
was big as a bed flat and twice as hard. Okay. B- basically, a big hand. Yeah. The, the, the okay. Little, it, it she had a big hand as a girl. All right. And then the last question for short answers. Why does the Radley Place fascinate the children? Because it seems haunted and there's people that... It's a place of mystery and they make rumors about it to make their child... I mean, they're in the Great Depression. They need some form of entertainment. Okay, so it's a place of mystery. That's good. Owen, what were you going to say? I was about to say what Chase said, basically. Okay. They're not really allowed much more around it. uh, there's like yeah, there's the mystery thing. around it, right? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, okay. with Calpurnia, they're not really allowed to go much farther than there, so there's not exactly many sources for entertainment. That's true. Imagine. That's their. Where uh... did Ashley school in the days? All right. Page two. Just wait. Past portal on the Xbox or whatever. That takes weird. Okay. Long answer questions. What is the line Macomb County had recently been told that had nothing to fear but fear itself? Um, read about the setting of the novel. You may need to look up the source of this famous quote. We are we have nothing to fear but fear itself. What do you think, Eliana? So the line to me is actually like an adaptation from a quote that FDR said in 1933, mm-hmm. which kind of alludes to the Great Depression and segregation. Okay, yeah. That's good. What else? What do you think? Um, okay, yeah, so the setting. You're saying the setting is the Great I'm Depression. I'm not going to answer every question. That's why I'm just saying something. Well, do you, have, do you have something good for this one? For the setting? Like, there's set, what did you answer for this? Uh, Number one. Which one is the question? Um, uh, Ruby was about to say in the novel, well, something that the that has a town in constant fear and that they shouldn't fear the thing that frightens them. Okay. So I like... And typically that, that, that specific kind of quote is said when you're going to a fight of some sort or you're going to struggle. Okay. I like that because you said Great Depression. You said going through a struggle. Um, nothing to be afraid but fear itself. And yeah, no, I love that. And Macomb County, so if you think about... We're going to have to come back to that quote, especially when we learn more about the, the Radley place, because I think that's actually... Um, Mr. Squirrel Eater. A good example. Isn't that rad? <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. All right, in Chapter 1, what kind of details does Scout give to lay out the historical context of the novel? So we talked about this a little bit, but what are the, some specific details she gives to show us um, that they're in the Great Depression and uh, the time period that they're in? Especially with... What? Do you want me to open? Do you want to? No. I don't know. I just want anyone to... You guys, you guys go first, and uh, no one has you anything else. Oh. Nick, go ahead. Nick. Yeah, Dill can't read? Good. So Dill can't read. What else? Um, a lot of people... Like, a lot of people... I don't know if this would be considered, but a lot of people were doing jobs. Like, a lot of people had jobs, or if they didn't, like, they were broke. Okay. Yep. You either have a job or you don't, basically. Good. Yeah. What else? Um, the, uh, I'm just going to go through my list here. Black right. people was still in slavery. Cotton was still mainly produced crop. Okay, hold on. So, did she say these things? It, it's, with kind of, infer- I'm making inferences. Okay, yeah, because, that's good. So, what? The, the Finch guy is still... Okay. Cotton yep. So there's still a cotton California farm. California is a black woman. Good. So there's definitely so with uh, the cotton farm and the um, the cook, then we show that there's probably some still some form of slavery. Good. What else did you say? Uh, religion was still held high in the community, like back then. They were okay. St- it was still part of law and whatnot. Yep. And we'll see. They go to church. Yep. And then uh, sometimes people would kill for small inconvenience. Okay. Sure. Which we, we we don't go that harsh anymore. Yeah. Sure. Conversation for a different day. All right. Um. <laughs> describe the myth of Boo Radley in full detail. So, full detail of like what? I've got one question. Who names their kid Boo? It's That's a awesome. nickname, not an actual one. Yeah, it, it, it's his name's Arthur. Yeah. Arthur Radley. Yeah. There's your nickname. 
Here you go, Grease. Why? Even as a nickname, Boo is that. You literally hey, just you said literally... it's a nickname. But listen, listen. So <laughs> Boo Radley, they don't call him Boo. The people in the town call him Boo because they think he's like a Ooh. ghost of the town. Because he never comes out of the yeah. house. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the myth, right? The story. What's the story of Boo Radley in full detail? Who wants to tell us? Reese, you want to tell me what you wrote? No. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, Someone besides me is going to do it. Eliana, go ahead. Okay, so supposedly in a gang that went as far as trapping, I think, a police officer in the courthouse outhouse. Okay. And then when all the kids, including Boo, like, got... Mm-hmm. Um, he said that, or Mr. Radley said that he would keep his kid out of the public eye if he didn't have to go to the reform school. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> many years later, he tried to kill, he was supposed to try to kill his father, but then, like, his father came out and was like, oh, no, we didn't kill him. Yeah. And then, after Mr. Radley died, the older Radley son stepped into his father's place, and then... The last thing is, like, people say that at night, Boo comes out and then scratching on people's windows while he stares at them. And then he has blood on, it's also said that he has blood on his hands from eating our animals. Oh, my gosh. All right. What if he's just a I mean, this kid was a source. He's just cutting away at a newspaper. So, it doesn't really come out till, till at night. Did they, did they say yet that they only see him when they go get groceries or something? Not him, but, like, the brother. Did they talk about when they see the brother? Uh, That's uh, the point. Oh, yeah. No, it was it was the dad. It was the father and the mother that they saw sometimes. Oh, yeah, to get groceries. The father would be walking mm-hmm. down, like, and the they, sidewalk oh. to go to work or whatever. Yep, and then did it say how... Yeah, it they they said the, good morning, and he just, like, coughed at them. Okay. It says the brother, like, sometimes will do the same thing, but instead he just comes back with, like, a magazine, and he... I think it said that he replies, but it's not... Like having a conversation. Yeah, and the doors are shut. The mom only comes out for gardening stuff. Yeah, and that's like unknown. Like oh, in Maycomb, know. usually the doors are open, and like you know, you can come in and out, but and that's how you know. Well, that's something's going, going on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to say to our people before we stop the screen recording? Um. Good luck. Don't die. Hey, hey, hey! Look. Good luck. Gonna die. Good, don't good. fall asleep. Good luck. Reading. That probably was like.